Nicola here from pixiehill.com with a project for Gypsy Soul Laser Guns. Begin by assembling a square shrine shadow box, gluing the sides, top and bottom to the front facade. Clean up any messy edges. Then, paint the interior white. Paint around the edges of the back piece. Apply a thin, even layer of glue. Then cover with a piece of decorative scrapbook paper and glue into place. Now to cover the outside of your box. If you have any overlap, you can sand the edges even. Paint the edges for a nice clean look. After experiments with their placement, I decided to trim the parts that hold the wheel axles in place. The chipboard is thick, but a steady hand and a sharp blade will do the trick. Now to paint all of the trims and embellishments white. Remember to paint the front and the back for a clean finished look. Cut a couple of short pieces of one quarter inch doweling for the wheel axles. Apply the prepared floral lace border trim to the top and add a small chipboard crest.
glue the trimmed wheel pieces into place. Be sure to test their placement to make sure your piece won't be wobbly. Then glue the wheels onto the ends of the small dowling. Touch up any little areas that need attention. Add more trim to the bottom edge. Glue it in place and then change your mind and turn it around. It's okay to do that. Making is all about experimenting. I've placed some decorative hubs on my wheels. You don't have to get too fancy. Acorn caps and buttons work beautifully for this. Now for the really fun part, embellishing. Moss, pixie dust, acorns, miniature pumpkins, books, absinthe, little glass slippers will all go into my little fairy godmother wagon. But don't feel limited by this. You should totally add your own flair and ideas to your own piece. Start with a theme, create a list of possible items to include, and build from there. And since I can't seem to make a project without a dose of the sparkly stuff, I'm adding some glittered highlight. The final piece has additional trim added to the top. It's okay to do that, to play and experiment, to add and take away. That's all part of the fun of making.